Well, we are back with the flower guy. It has been so wet, so muddy. Everything here has been sinking up mud hole. Look at the top of the hill here. And I've got the dog with me. Jerry's running. Anyways, today what we're going to do, we're gonna hop right into propagating dahlias. What I have today is just a bottle, a Gatorade bottle. And that Gatorade bottle is going to be vital in this process. We've now got the bottle here with our soil in it, so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting that. Now that we've got the top where we need it, we, we leave about an inch around so we can close it back up, sort of like a biome. Then you can unscrew it if you need to, to get back in. But now we need to pack the soil. We've got the soil packed in tight now. Here's the part where we're gonna take the experiment here. Now, this was actually a clone from what I have done a few months ago. To be exact, this plant is around 37 days old. Look at it. It's healthy, it's green. And the reason why I'm showing you this today is because this is a huge game changer. If you're able to save in these areas, then uh, even with, with a bottle just like this, and then you have two plants that you can start. So what I'm going to do with this plant is I'm going to actually take it out of here and show you the root system on this. And it, it, might, it might die, but what I want to show you is that the plant system of this structure after 37 days old is just all from a clone and we're about to clone it again here in just a second. So after 37 days, this is what you'll have, a root system sort of, sort of as like this. It's starting to build little tubers. It'll start to clump up there, but it's only based there. You can see that it's really healthy. Some people think that you can't keep them in pots, like five gallon pots, but that's not true because these can be also house plants. This one has been sitting right here for a couple of days now. So what we're gonna do is cut the top off. We're going to put this back into its home for now. And uh, the reason I've done that is just to show you and maybe take some of the soil and add back into here. All right, now that I've got it back in there and situated, the roots are packed tight, I need to water it in just so if when you aggravate the roots, most of the time, that's what you need to do. But one thing that I wanted to tell you what kind of dahlia this is, it's a Locrines, and maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'll leave it below. And here is also a picture to show you what it looks like in full bloom. Keep in mind, this is one of the top selling uh, dahlias that we have in the summertime. So white is always good and white goes with everything. And if you haven't, hop on over to our website. And as you scroll down right here, you can see that this is uh, something that would help you develop the skills that it takes to be able to sell these types of dahlias that we're trying to clone right now. And what that does is it gives you a sense of who you're trying to sell it to, who your buyer is, and uh, how to discover those things within. This is a system that will just help keep your business in line, even if you're a first year grower all the way up to a scaled couple of years in, in the, the process. And then here is behind the scenes. It actually gives you a transformation of starting out wanting to be a flower farmer and then actually finishing with the results of being a flower farmer and scaling up the business or even just knowing where to, to sell at for your outlets. I'll leave a link in the description for this starter kit so you can get started even today and have your business license and your business set up by the end of the week here. All right, besides that, we need to water this in real quick. So I actually forgot my pruners. My axle on my truck broke out from underneath. Uh, it's at the shop. 
So I have these, just sharp, clean scissors, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do here to be propagating and saving money. All right, so we spin the plant around right now, and what we're looking for is the first two set of true main leaves. So then we have uh, one here, we have one set of true main leaves, then we have another set right up here. Normally, you're not gonna see them uh, together. You're actually gonna see them crossing the X, sort of like this one, and then this one comes out, that you can see they go opposite. I'm not sure exactly why this one had that. What we're going to do is we're gonna come up, I would go one, two, but for this one in particular, I'm gonna go three up, and I'm just going to cut the top out of it right there. Now what I've done is I've cut the top out of it and now I have a, another start. This is how you can get early starts. So if you're doing this inside, you can have you, uh, look, we can put one, two, we could probably put about eight in this tray here. So then you can keep making your clones. What you're gonna see here is if you look and zoom in, what you're gonna see right there is you'll see two side shoots come up and then it'll do the exact same thing. If you keep cutting this plant, this is a clone. So 37 days ago, we started this. And if you check back in some of my videos, you can see where we started this at. This came from a yearling tuber, which made tons of blooms. Then we made a clone off of it at the last frost. We then put it into an indoor grow room. And then we took a cutting off of that. Then now we have another clone here. So it's a six fold cycle that we're doing right now. The more that you can take off of your actual clone, the better off you'll be. And the reason why is because you'll have perspiration. And perspiration isn't something that you want because there's no roots. That's the whole purpose for taking this little cup here and making it a biome dome and have high humidity levels inside of there. We don't want to damage it too much and I'm just going to poke a hole right down in the center. Drop this little guy in here and I'm tightly packing around. I have about 11 more weeks until everything has to be planted outside. We're in zone 6B. If this was done in 37 days, it probably could have been done in 30 days. If we have about 11 weeks left, that means we almost have three months. So if we can get three cuttings off of this one and this one, I would guess that we could get eight to 10 cuttings off this if we can do that quickly enough and promptly to make sure that we have some sort of schedule here. I jumped outside to show you one other thing. And the reason why propagation is so crucial to your business is look around you now. Look where the shipping's going. Look where um, the knowledge of people, if they know how to do this, they can endlessly keep providing for themselves or as a business.